What I'm gonna miss most about Midway is the people. I feel like we're all so close knit, everybody knows everyone. Uh, everywhere you go, there's someone that knows you, sees you, wants to know how you're doing. You just go down to the old junction store and you know everybody that's in there. It's the southern hospitality. We're all willing to help. We're all willing to pitch in. Everybody's so nice down here. You're always going to have somebody there for you. Uh, I can talk to about anybody here, and they can back me up or support me in any way. That's one of the things, like when you get to high school, you notice that everyone's friends. There's no cliques. It's just everyone's together. And everyone's friends, and you get to be with all the people you've known your whole life. They've uh, helped me through a lot. I feel like everyone at Midway is a generally good person. Like even the kids that cause the most trouble in class are, I mean, we had a boy in my third block class and he was always getting in trouble, but every day he would stand outside by the vending machine and hold the door open for everyone. That's what Midway is down here. You gotta love everybody. We were always wishing, I don't wanna go to school, blah, 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 I hate it, blah, blah. But then it truly comes out when you can't finish your senior year. Um, I think the moment that it hit hardest was like realizing that I'm not seeing my teachers anymore. I'm not gonna be able to like talk to them and ask them questions like hands on that I would versus online. It's, you just say you're gonna do it in 15 minutes and then you type something and then you're like, you type something this big and then you think you're done. You take another 15 minute break and then it just, it takes so much longer than it should. And I don't like doing it at home. It's very boring. The weirdest thing that's happened my senior year is missing the last quarter of it. Can't really do anything. I'm pretty upset because I can't leave my house. I can't go and see friends or anything. So, I mean, not much to do to stay positive and pretty sad, but it's all good. What this pandemic has taught me is that I need to put other people first and not worry about myself and my enjoyment and worry more about people's health. I can actually do stuff around the house, do stuff for family, just help the community out when, just to, with a helping hand. Uh, life always doesn't pan out how you expect it to. I mean, uh, you can have your plans of what you're gonna do and what you're, like for me, my senior year is gonna be like, and then something like this happens, and it kinda throws all your plans off. If there's one thing that's getting me through the pandemic, it would be, um, just working and staying busy. Actually, my dogs and my little brother. I've been working with my horses a lot. I've been training a lot. I'm actually a big fan of music, so I listen to a lot of that. I'm really good at online poker. <laughs> and I didn't really know that I would miss it, but I do. So if I could describe my senior year in three words, it would be dedication. A little frantic. Life-changing. Unexpected, for sure. Very eye-opening. Memorable, I guess. I will always remember my HOSA trips with Miss Civic and all the fun all of us girls had on that, including Creek one year. When Miss Coulter's chair broke and when she fell backwards, all you could see was her feet sticking up from behind the desk. <laughs> Me and my best friend were running through the hallways with a basketball goal and a basketball, like a little baby basketball and we were going up to teachers and dunking it on them. I miss Woody's classroom and because she always was there for me and she was my favorite teacher. I was going to Lifetime Wellness and I had my hair curled and it looked very obviously curled with a curling wand and Sarah walked up to me and said, is that natural? And I said, mm, no. And then ever since then, we were best friends and that's the best thing about high school to me is just having best friends. I've made so many new friends from just being involved in theater. Uh, prom was really funny because I don't know how to dance and they kept pushing me out into the circle and I never knew like what to do and I would just kind of wave my hands and move until I could find a way out of the circle. That'd probably be the funniest one. It was redneck day for homecoming week and I really wanted to do something special because it was my senior year and I knew nobody would do anything like that. So that's how I ended up driving the Can-Am to school. Um, my favorite sports memory was when we were playing Hortburg at Run State and <laughs> this girl pulled my hair and we got in a little fight. 
when we beat North Green in the sub-state game because it was the night we made history in Midway High School. One of my friends hit a full court shot to win the game and that was crazy. Abby scored in our basketball game. It was really sweet and everyone just clapped. Junior year beating Rockwood week one. Everyone was going crazy. It was the first time we'd beat them in like 11 years. That's by far my favorite. That was the most excited then. I'll always remember that for sure. Uh, the thing I'm most proud of from high school is lifelong friendships I've made. I'm gonna miss having a lunch every day and <laughs> Linda. <laughs> The teachers, they're honestly, they're, they're for you, not against you. Just the crazy stories. Coming out here and doing the long practices and putting in the extra work. Seeing all my friends, because I know we're going off to different schools and it's just going to be difficult. Um, all right, what am I most excited for for the future? Um, I would say moving in uh, with my new roommates, college, um, kind of branching out and getting this new experience, starting a new chapter in my life. Going to college. Go to college, get the experience. Going off to college, living kind of on my own in a dorm. What the world holds for me, what I can do with the knowledge I'm going to acquire at um, college, and learning new things that I didn't learn in high school. Just to have more free time and be able to hang, hang out more with my family. Uh, just to see what it holds. Uh, just kind of go with the wind. I like being able to not have a plan. Getting into the adult world, being my own person, just seeing where life takes me, I guess. Planning on going to TCAT for the fall semester to enroll for welding. I'm gonna spend two years at Roan State and then I'm gonna go to somewhere else for two years to finish off my teaching degree. I'm a math major. Right now I'm gonna go to Rome State and do nursing and then hopefully be a CRNA. So I'm going to Tennessee Westland where my mom went to play basketball. I'm gonna play basketball just like her. To attend Embry-Riddle and uh, join the Navy and enlist as an officer and further on to be in Special Forces, either SWIC or SEALs. A nurse working for my RN and getting my neonatal nurse degree. I see myself in 10 years, uh, hopefully still working with sports somehow. Well, I hope I'm still alive, hopefully. Um, I should be finishing up college, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm gonna go in to business school. Working in a hospital helping people. Second grade teacher, still living in Roan County. Working either for um, the management staff of a hospital or um, with my own uh, clinic for uh, psychotherapy. Something I'd like to say to my family is thank you for always making sure I did my homework for the most part um, and pushing me to have good grades and keeping me in sports and not letting me quit. The things I'd like to say to my family is that I love you and I value you more than anything else because you support me through everything. I'm happy they helped me through high school and that they supported me. Making sure I'm on my work and making sure I grow up to be the person that they want me to. Love my family. <laughs> Great people. Do a lot for me. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to the faculty and staff at Midway. They really made me who I am, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the plans I do now if it wasn't for them. And I'd like to thank the teachers for helping me like grow. Honestly, I don't even think I should have made it to my senior year, but a lot of chances that teachers have given me opportunities and just helped me out in the long run. My advice for freshmen would be not to change yourself through high school. Just join as many clubs, as many sports as you can, make as many friends as you can. Do something out of the ordinary. Stay focused, do your work. Don't sleep your first two years and get behind on stuff. It's a struggle, 
Just make sure you study and you stay focused in your schoolwork and just know that you're almost done. Do a little work, do the homework, do the extra questions because it all pays off in the end and puts you a step further. Value every moment because you don't know how many you have left. Just make sure you've got that good group and that you're studying yourself. Don't try to speed up things. It's all in the moment. Don't speed up your high school because when it is over, it is truly over. Class of 2020, the one where we were quarantined, and I love you guys.